Moon Alien Entities, part two. While visiting these sculptures the other day in Sydney, I mentioned that they look very similar to the entity types that are actually inside of Moonbeam energy. Not Moonbeams themselves, not terrestrial beings, but the entities inside of that energy. Meaning that they are not terrestrial. These are astral projections of Moon Entity energy. Alien! And this is just one variation of how they manifest. It's a whole explanation that I do when we're actually in person or in workshops about what you can do with this kind of energy. And someone had asked, do you think that the artist had done some kind of a download with this information? And here's the interesting thing about art. Art, in essence, is a divination. It is a download. It is you in communication with your alphic brain waves, that very visual part of your mind where you're connecting to your pineal gland, where you're tuning in, and you're also activating your imagination and your creative mind, and more and art is just the modality of that expression meaning through pottery through painting through sculpture work and more if you are an artist or a creative that actually resonates because it does feel like a conduit is coming through to help you understand larger information but i want to show you something when i was here the other day there is a title to this sculptural piece that i just i didn't take a look at so today i wanted to come back and take a look at the title wait till you see this so we're moving through <laughs> These sculptures of what I think look very similar to Moonbeam Energy. And the name of the piece is called The Observers. That's amazing. I know this sounds so wild, so I, I, I know, I understand. But as someone who is in communication, who can validate information by the way that information and energy actually pulls and moves, these are one of those things that like, Okay, Kimo, can I talk about this? And I say all the time, it's hard for me to talk about this because I can't validate that. When it comes to spirit energy, you can validate that. You can find historians, people who are living, who can validate the actual information that you bring through. That's what happens with spirit. But when it comes to entity, when it comes to alien or anything else like that, you can't validate that because there are other individuals out there who are kind of holding on to that information. And I am not privy to working with the inside of government information and intel, so I can't actually bounce that information off of anyone else, but I do know that it exists. Until then, in time, welcome to that circle. We're just gonna have to think about it here and put it in the back of our minds as something that is going on that we just can't explain. I forgot to mention that if this kind of stuff is of interest to you, way outside of the realm of spirit, these are the kinds of conversations that I'm very open to having with certain kinds of clients who have access. Either you see it or you feel it or you absorb this kind of information. If you want to talk about it, talk to me about it. There's lots of little anecdotes I can give you and lots of little lessons I can offer you to help you be in stronger communication.